welcome to my studio. Today I am going to take you through a quick journal flip of this um, little journal that I just finished today. Um, this is a log and jotter. Um, it is the same size as Field Notes and I have a subscription for it so I get one every month and I have been getting one for every month for a few years and um, I've kind of let them stack up and I have a lot and I was treasuring them and decided um, not long ago that I needed to do something about that that I needed to start using them so um, in an effort to help with my creativity and to help foster that and nurture that and um, just anything that I could do to help keep myself being creative every day, I decided to do a small collage in one in a page uh, on here every day. So just to anything, it didn't matter what I did. I could just put down one image that was fine. Just something every day and. Um, I'm happy to say that I just feel well I just filled this one up um, there were several days where I did more than one page a day because I just started would start working on it and um, I enjoy doing this size so much that um, a lot of times it was difficult for me to stop with just one and so I would do two or three so um, I did fill this up a lot quicker than if I just done a page a day I had also already started working in this journal back um, my first, the first page that I did in it was December 28th, 2017. Um, and whenever I do the flip through, I'll, sh you'll, I'll start at the beginning so that you see all these. And I did a quick flip through of this um, in the video that I just did um, last night where I was talking about um, just the different collage books that I've been working in this past couple, this past week or so. Um, so I will show those again, but I did start in this on December 28th, 2017. I did a couple pages and then I stopped and then I did a couple, a page in September of 2018. I did a page on December 27th, 2018 and let's see, maybe one in November of 2018 and then that's it. And then it, this just sat for all this time. Um, so I have been doing at least a page a day. This one's full. I am going to just close my eyes and pick out the next one that I'm going to work in. I don't know if you noticed that right there. Those, I thought it would be kind of fun to see um, how many I had. Uh, whenever I did my studio tour, I showed where I keep them. And um, they're in a little, they're in a basket up on the shelf in my, in my hutch up here. And um, it was really misleading how many I actually had in the basket. I had no idea that I had this many. Um, they're not all uh, log and jotters. Half of them are field notes. And then there's some few other just random um, field note size notebooks that I picked up here and there. But um, I basically have them divided up between all my field notes together and all the log and jotters together. So I thought it would be fun to show you that. And I am just going to bend down and grab one. And that will be the next one that I start working in um, for just these next daily pages. So I'm going to unhook you and we'll go over here and see. And we will pick one out and then I will do a quick flip of, of this journal. Um, so here we go. Here they are. These are all log and jotters. And I will post a link um, in the description box to this company. It's a U.S. based uh, made in America. Um, they're really neat. You can choose what kind of paper you want on the inside and I get I always just get the the um, dot the dot grid paper and um, And then I every month the cover is different. So each one of these is different Which is really cool. I do not have these in any sort of order 
Um, so those are all log and jotters. And then these are mostly field notes. There's a few in here that are not. Um, I don't know where I have them tucked in, which it doesn't matter, but these are basically all field notes. I've got some silly ones like this. So Archie McPhee ones are kind of fun. I know I have some back here too. So these are Archie McPhee. So, um, yep, all of these are field notes. I used to get a subscription to it also, and I stopped it. Um, so that's where a lot of these came from. Of course, I had to have the Nebraska ones. And, um, yeah, so there we go. That's all of them. My trusty, my dad's big old yardstick. So we've got about... Yeah, 26 inches of journals here, if I took out my little doggies. So that's a lot. So let's just, I'm going to turn my head, I'm going to go up and down, and I'm going to pick one. And there we go. That's the one we'll use. So, okay, I'm going to move the tripod over, and I will take you on a quick tour of this finished journal.
Okay, I hope that you enjoyed my little flip through and I will start working on this one tomorrow. So let's see, which is this? This is March 2020, it says. So new journal, ready to go. I might go ahead and do something to the front here first before maybe tonight. I don't know. We'll see. So, yep, that's where I am. And, um, yeah, I hope that this inspires you to maybe create a little bit of something each day. Um, you know, like I said, some days I just stuck something down and other days I stuck a whole lot down. Um, so there's, um, just a whole hodgepodge of everything in here. So it's kind of a lot like what um, ended up turning into the type of things that I started adding into my junk journal. Um, but now it's just kind of like those elements that are just on their own on one little page. I really like um, the white space on here. So um, that is one reason, one of the things that it started me with doing doing this and this size of collage in these books was I was trying to work with more white space because all of my collages um, before then had been where I was using magazine images across the entire page and I just was really wanting to try something different and um, just something that was a little bit um, well just more Simple isn't the right word, because um, I know a lot of these aren't too terribly simple, um, but just, I was just not wanting to have the whole page covered with an image, so, um, yeah, I uh, hope you enjoy this, and I'll start on this one tomorrow. If you have any questions, please, please ask. Um, I will put a link down in the description box for Log and Jotter. Um, I am not getting anything for promoting them or anything like that. I am just a longtime subscriber um, who is needing to use her books. <laughs> um, so um, take care, everybody. I love you. I hope you're all doing wonderful. And um, I will see you again really soon. Bye-bye.